Hello and welcome to Good Morning American Studies. I'm Allison Panchak. And I'm Jimmy Pachocchio, and you are watching the second edition of Good Morning American Studies, Rowan University's number one source for American Studies news and advice. Today we will review some news and events and also some advising tips. And we are also going to meet with Professor Bruce Plort, a new professor in the English department who is also an American Studies advisor. But first, Allison is going to share some news with us. Allie? The Fulbright Foundation has announced their Fulbright Fellows and for the first time would like to congratulate an American Studies major, Emily Speaker, for winning a Fulbright Fellowship for next year. Emily will be spending one year in Malaysia working as a teacher's assistant. This is a highly competitive program offering government-sponsored internships. She is excited to explore the world and interact with children in a country with a large Muslim population. She had begun her studies of women in Muslim world as part of her international relations course in the major. Fulbright advisor Corey Blake said that American studies majors are highly attractive because they're experts in American history and culture. On another note, American studies club have been very active this semester. They have worked with the philosophy and religion department and began a new movie series, the Thursday night movie. Each movie begins with a little discussion of a philosophical foundation of the film. So far, they have watched George Romero's 1968 film, Night of the Living Dead, and Spike Jones' 2004 film, Internal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, starring Kate Winslet and Jim Carrey. On May 8th, the club will sponsor the Dustin Hoffman film, The Graduate, to commemorate the end of the school year. And in breaking news, the next Eastern American Studies Association and Atlantic Folklife Association will be having a joint conference here at Rowan University. This will be a big event, but would also bring some of the brightest minds in American Studies and Folklife Studies right here at Glassboro, New Jersey. That is very exciting. Yes, it is. Let's speak with Rachel Weber, president of the American Studies Club, for some more information on the Eastern American Studies Association. Let's tune in to Rachel. Hello, Rachel. Hello, Allie. Yes, the Eastern American Studies Association is an organization of American Studies programs from New Jersey, Delaware, Pennsylvania, Maryland, and parts of Virginia. They meet yearly to highlight the best in undergraduate, graduate, and faculty research from the region. The other exciting thing about EASA is that it founded Epsilon Alpha Kappa, the only American Studies Honor Society in the country. I got inducted this past conference and it is truly a great honor. Oh wow, so that honor society, that, that sounds really interesting. Can you tell us a little more about that? Sure. All American Studies majors and sequencers can qualify if they have a 3.4 GPA in American Studies and have been active in the American Studies Club. You apply in the late fall. We've had inductions at Rowan, but the last two inductees, Monique Nelson and I, had the honor of being inducted at the conference with students from many other colleges in the region. At the induction, we receive a certificate and red, white, and blue honor cords that we can wear at graduation. We have to do a lot of research in our classes. How does Eastern American Studies Association help undergrad research? There are two main ways. First, the EASA conference always features undergraduate roundtable, where one selected undergraduate from each American Studies program can present their paper. This year, Caitlin Denobly presented her fascinating research on holidays and eating disorders. Second, EASA also sponsors a great undergraduate online journal, New Errands. Caitlin has already published her paper in the journal. If you have a great research project from a history class or your senior seminar, you can submit it. And if it's a really good paper, they will publish it. Wow, what a great opportunity for students to show off their hard work, isn't it? It is. Yeah. So now let's go to get some advice from our Advising Today correspondent, Caitlin Adams. Hi, I'm Caitlin. Today I'm going to provide you with some tips on how to succeed in your upper level classes. American Studies majors have a big challenge. They have to take upper level classes in many departments without having the methods courses for them. This means American Studies students may not feel as prepared for these courses. However, American Studies majors still do well and get good grades, but that is because they've learned how to adapt. I have three helpful hints on how to succeed in upper level classes in an unfamiliar discipline. Number one, read up on the discipline. The American Studies website has a bibliography of sources for your use to help you get ready for the upper level work. For example, if your literature professor is discussing literary theory, you can go to the Tips for Success link on the American Studies website and find 
The Penguin Guide to Literary Terms and Theory. This book will provide you helpful background information for the class. Number two, come prepared and ready to contribute. American Studies students impress their professors by being able to bring an interdisciplinary point of view to the classroom. English professor Kathy Paris said she loves when American Studies majors bring a historical context into her literature class. And number three, if you need help, ask for it. Use the Tutoring Center, Academic Success Center, your peers and your professors for any additional help you may need. American Studies students enhance their classroom. Remember that. It just takes a little extra work for you to do well. Thanks, back to you. Thanks, Caitlin. So let's see what our professors are doing. Yes, that sounds great. Rachel Weber had an opportunity to have lunch with Professor Plourd last week. Let's take a look. Hello, I'm here with Professor Bruce Plourd, um, a new professor from the English department. Hello. Hello. So I have a few questions for you. Great. Okay, the first one is, could you tell me a little bit about your background? Well, as you see, it's the restaurant. <laughs> Oh, uh, my background. Yes. I uh, grew up in northern Maine. Uh, went to school in New Mexico for a while. Went to school in Philadelphia for a while. Uh, went to school in North Carolina for a while. Um, got my PhD at Temple, and here I am. Very nice. So how long have you been teaching, and have you taught in any other places? I taught at William Patterson State College when I had my master's degree. I taught at the University of New Mexico, I taught at Temple, and I've taught here. Okay. So. so why do you like teaching American Studies courses? I like American Studies courses and the program in general because there's so many uh, options to pursue. You could take a class um, in American Studies and you could be looking at architecture, history, literature sociology, uh, a lot of different aspects, and it all comes together as uh, a study of America, so it's interesting. And our last question, what do you do in your spare time? Uh, I have, uh, I used to have hobbies, but now I have a one-year-old son, so that's, that's pretty much where my free time goes. Okay, well thank you for being here with us today. Pleasure, Rachel. Wow, it is great that American Studies majors can get a professor with such great experience under his belt. Yeah, it really shows Rome University can get so many good leads with them. Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Jimmy Pachokia. And I'm Allison Panchak. Have a good summer. We'll see you next fall.